The US has had a lot of experience in building floating causeways. The Trident Pier has been built off several coasts, including that of South Korea and the UAE. The facility of Gaza will take around two months to build. As far as time frame, as I mentioned, several weeks, uh, likely up to 60 days in order to deploy the forces uh, and uh, construct the, uh, the causeway and the, and the pier. In recent days, the U.S. and some other countries have put in place an airdrop operation of supplies into Gaza, this resulting in a tragedy on Friday when a parachute did not open properly, killing at least five people and injuring a number more. Highlighting the criticism that airdrop operations and maritime piers are a measure of last resort, are expensive and ineffective, and run the risk of creating chaos on the ground. The measures in this case, say a United Nations expert, appear to be more for domestic political benefit than real humanitarian relief. This, my best educated guess, is probably a performance to try and meet uh, a domestic audience with elections around the corner. A temporary peer will enable a massive increase in the amount of humanitarian assistance getting into Gaza every day. The fact that President Biden announced the new measure in his State of the Union speech, one normally centered on domestic issues, adds fuel to the claim of political cynicism. These U.S. measures could also serve to prop up the nearly two-decade-long Israeli blockade of Gaza, another consequence of the Biden administration's apparent reluctance to fully confront the Netanyahu government and its unbridled war. The United States needs to use other tools uh, in our toolbox to not just insist, but to say, if you continue to ignore us, if you continue to rebuff these requests, there will be consequences. The purported U.S. intention to help the people of Gaza could have the opposite effect. In reality, it could bolster and effectively endorse the illegal Israeli blockade. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.